Holy smokes. So today we are going to be playing in the Grand Challenge Part 2. As you guys know, um, I usually play in these and I showcase, you know, the day one and how it goes. And, you know, just show how much fun we have on the ladder going against a bunch of fun random teams where people bring out our attacks. So a lot of people that are actually like really grinding, you know, to get uh, championship points. I can understand why the Global Challenge or Grand Challenge frustrates them. But we're here just playing it for fun. Um, just having a good time, enjoying it, and uh, next season we're going to be actually joining them and grinding for championship points, right? But for now, we just want to enjoy it and see how much fun we can have it. Um, today, I'm going to be using a little bit more of an honest team uh, for the Global Challenge. I wanted to see how well I would do with playing with something that's a little bit more consistent um, with a couple surprises on it, right? So starting off, uh, this team is built around Basque Legion. Uh, Basque Legion was the starting point. I really wanted to play with this mine and uh, just bring out some of his strengths. So of course, one of the best rain setters to go with it is Pelipper. I like Pelipper over Politoed. And I wanted to pair a special attacker that's also good in the rain. And that's why I got the Archaladon. Um, upon looking at it, I needed a, I know I wanted a grass type to give me an answer to opposing Amongus, as well as something that can kind of sit in front of Rillaboom, right? Um, and there, there came the Amongus. Amongus offers redirection. And it also pairs really good with King Gambit and Dragonite because they make a very solid core that you can just bring game, uh, King Gambit, Among Us, and Dragonite to games with any one of the other uh, two. I would recommend probably Pelipper, but you could bring our Chalodon since it's Power Herb. And they just make a really strong core and it's really fun to play with, right? Um, but pretty much this Basket Legion is going to, um, it has some flexibility since we're running Splash Paint. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing as like Wave I uh, Wave Isense. But we're able to go for really powerful wave crashes when you tear into water. And we have the flexibility of being able to switch up our moves and also run protect. Which I feel like is super valuable on Basket Legion. Since when you are Choice Scarf or Choice Bang, you're very vulnerable to like Sucker Punches and Grassy Glass from Rillaboom. So now you have some counterplay to that. Pelipper is going to be pretty standard. One thing to note is Ghost Terror. Ghost Terror can really help you in a lot of matchups where Pelipper is threatening a lot of damage. And your opponent just wants to fake out into it or double up into it and the ghost terror helps you get around that turn one fake out which can sometimes win you games we wanted to run wide guard instead of something like tailwind or helping hand because wide guard is very powerful in this format and you have a lot of different choice uh mods that are in the current format like choice best godango um and it just gets locks into uh make it rain in the end game and you just win based off your wide guard right so i did want to run wide guard on this pelipper because it's very good for like um best of one ladder and a lot of opponents are really do not like when Pelipper has wide guard. So when you have it, it gives you a lot of win cons. Next, we have Archaladon. This is going to be the sturdy set. So as you know, we in our previous uh, teams that we featured the five rental codes before these current five rental codes, I used the um, the stalwart Archaladon. This time, we're going to go ahead and go with the sturdy. Um, I think it's a really cool um, ability that pairs well with the power herb. And protect so this allows our Chalodon plus Pelipper on lead to not be able to be knocked out um, unless they have like something like uh, a boosted dragon scale uh, dragon shot or scale shot that's what it's called scale shot but like Dragonite or something like that with loaded dice to break through your sash other than that if you're not taping taking double hitting moves your opponent has to double into one of Pelipper or our Chalodon and with them both having to protect and both having to uh, be able to survive on one hp it makes it very hard to deal with both of these on lead we went with electric terror since we are running this sturdy uh having a uh, defensive terror really doesn't matter and getting a, a huge boost on the electric shot and being able to just one shot go dingo and outspeed it since you are max speed timid is just really cool in my opinion then once you get that boosted up a boosted draco meter just does so much damage as well as flash cannon right Next, we have Among Us. Among Us deal is pretty standard. We have it for the Dondozo matchup as well with Clear Smog. One thing to note is that we have Dark Terror. That gives us a good matchup into Psy Spam, where King Gamut plus Among Us can just sit in front of Psy Spam and they really can't do much. If they have like Hatterene or um, Gallade, you're able to just redirect them away with Among Us and be able to clean up uh, the game with like Dragonite or King Gamut next to that and Trick Room, which works very well. Next is King Gamut. It's a pretty standard set. Uh, nothing to note about is Black Glasses, Dark Terror. Pairs really good with Among Us. Pairs really good on the rain teams. Uh, really appreciates the rain. And also pairs really good, uh, has really good synergy with Dragonite. Last but not least, my favorite mod on this team is going to be the multi-scale uh, Flying Terror Dragonite. 
is Dragonite is so cool because all you can you can sit in front of a lot of different mons with assault vest and multi skill, and then just spam Terra Blast. Especially if you're next to a uh, redirecting attacks, Terra Blast and Terra Flying is just doing so much damage to a lot of mons, and then you're able to just clean up in the end game with like Pelipper Vest Legion or Pelipper Archaladon, right? So it's really cool to lead it and just you know deal a lot of burst damage. And a lot of your opponents don't really have good coverage into flying ice and ground plus um extreme speed priority so it's a really cool set and i really this is really like one of my favorite dragonite sets it's, it's really fun this format and as you know i've always been a fan of dragonite i've hit rank one with um choice band dragonite before so any dragonite that i play with is usually just a really fun time but that's gonna be it for a breakdown with this team if you guys are interested in more uh battles or more you know, fun teams built around competitive Pokemon or sometimes niche Pokemon with a competitive team built around the niche mon, then this is going to be the channel for you. There is a Renekal up at the top right, as well as a Pokepaste down in the description below. And we're going to go ahead and get to these Grand Challenge battles. All right, there's Garchomp, Corviknight, Tyranitar, Magmar, Sneezer and Indeed. My like Vasculesian kind of goes crazy here. I think leaving Among Us is, is Among Us, Dragonite. I want Arch and Pelipper in the back. Dragonite can remove the terrain. It's definitely going to be Sneasel immediately because, I mean, that looks really strong to what we have. Among Us, um, maybe he brings Magmar. If he does, that's good for us because that's just, it's really there for the Among Us matchup. Jump core. Is Garch on Terra here? If you don't, like, we can just kill Ice Spinner, right? Alright. Should be Magmar coming in. Good switch. I wouldn't be surprised if Garchomp protects her. I could have swore I brought Bastard Legion I wouldn't know, but I guess I did click on Mongus. Yeah. Solid play by my opponent.
should go for follow me, but a crazy play would be if he didn't go for will o -Wiz. Yeah, if you're tearing Garchomp, he's going for will o -Wiz. Quick stomp in there, too. Oh, but he wants to overheat. I'm trying to snipe off the Amongus. still survives though so we can switch back out into nightmare all right guard chomps down though so that's really good we need to switch back out into the movies so did you he is corviknight his last so he didn't bring the sneeze there and do lot, which i would argue is good for us deal damage to Tyranitar. Um, it's okay if we lose Corvin. I mean, if we lose, because he already used Terra, so our Chalodon's always a one kind against Corvin Knight. We just need to position uh, a 1v1 with our Chalodon. So I can try to put Corvin Knight to sleep, force him to switch it out. That's good damage. He's bumping up. But like I said, this, is, this doesn't matter because we have Arch. go down Dragonite. Another stomping tantrum would have been really nice. But now I got a free weather ball into the Tyranitar slot. You may want to switch into Magmar, but that's not going to take a weather ball well. So we're in position now. So this is just, uh, you already got your bulk up, so I know you don't want to switch. So this is free spore, free weather ball. You can switch out Corviknight, but we get the Weather Ball off KO Tyranitar. Okay, I'll take it. He wins the Weather War, but now he lost his Follow Me user. Fine with me because Arch is in the back and we have power her. Oh, we went for Great Bird. Okay. Corp have protect. I think I just want to knock out Tyranitar. Double it. And then knock out Corp next time. I knew he was going to take that. Alright, we do get the KO though. Alright, Corp can only KO one right here. I mean, he can only KO uh, Pelican, he can't KO Arch. That wasn't gonna KO anyway. 
So we have sturdy. Oh, Pelipper survives. That's still even a boost. I want to bait out a protect. I'm protecting here only because I need to scout for if he has protect. And I'll just weather ball because we always just win. I need to be. I need to scout a protect on his end though because this is the perfect turn to protect if he has it. Okay. But that means he doesn't have it. But oh, that did a lot of damage. Right, there he is. Probably a roost. Oh, he's body press. That's what I think. Tailwind would have probably lost me the game if he had it. He probably does have it, but I needed to scout for a protect. But he shouldn't know that I'm not stamina and I'm probably power herb. So let's see if he has protect or not. He doesn't. But that should be game. I didn't have to be play so safe because if he would have tailwind that we would have lost. But it's it's uh it's GC, so you never know what kind of sets there. That was actually a really fun game. Got a wiggly tough here. Wow, wiggly tough. That's interesting. Ursaluna, um, Electabuzz, and he has Mianchao. So this is a pretty standard team. Uh, instead of the Sneezler, he has Mianchao. And instead of the Primarina, he has another Fairy, which is really tough. Which gets competitive, so you can't just lead Intimidate into it, right? This is an interesting team. I honestly think Basket Legion Pelipper looks strong here. Uh, having Sturdy is valuable on Chaladon. And... I really don't want to bring Amogus into the Electabuzz, but. Redirection for our Chaladon might be valuable. I don't really like King Gambit and Dragonite here. Dragonite can't break the Electabuzz easily, but I can use Stomping Tantrum. But that's maybe a three hit KO. Electabuzz is tricky here. Why would you need Electabuzz with this? I honestly just want to protect turn one. See what's going on here. I want to scout for a knockoff on the inch out too. Because I really can just one shot Electabuzz. It does have a knockoff. I could have went for the water to raise crash, but I mean, I won't go for it now. And I'm going for Hurricane, because either way, Mianchao gets brought down to Sash, and we get the confusion. We got a chance for it to knock itself out through its own Sash. This Hurricane's better here.
We did waste a turn of rain, but I think it was worth it to scout for fake outs or terrors or protect. I think Electabuzz think it's safe here. The way he just went for Electro up turn one. Alright, so no terror on Arch, no tell on Among Us, but I think we're good. Alright, he didn't tear, he didn't protect, so he looks like he's going for the same play as the previous time. There's no way Electabuzz takes this, right? Nice. Breaking Electabuzz and, Mag and Magmar feels so good. Alright, knock off here. Oh, but you knock off the Sash, that's fine. We get a confusion. Confusion. Nice. 2020 Poké Vision. Call the confusion. Now he just needs to knock himself out. Uh oh. Um, this is doing a lot. I don't know if your Dragapult can can take Wave Crash. I see. No need for me to switch out here because I don't need to take any damage on anything in the back. Preserve the sturdy and among his health, and we should be good. It's a boon if we just go ahead and get the uh, the knockout on me and Child through the confusion. Be even better. I think this is KO's, KO's Dragapult. Oh my god, it's so close. Yeah, the choice band gets it, but... Build. Alright. Well, this is a game now. Oh, we survived. Can we get the confusion knock, please? RNG guys? Oh, he went for a high jump kick if he would have missed? Protect, take two darts on the Mungus and put Dragapult to sleep. And we can just KO Dragapult. Be even better if Mianchi just KOs itself. Aha, that would have been so beautiful if we got it. High jump kick over a close combat is kind of crazy. It's, it's 30 base power more, but you have the chance to miss and take half your health. So our odds wasn't that bad. For him, ooh, is he tearing Dragapult here? Ah, oh, that's so smart. Yeah. Uh, dang, for how good turn two went, kind of messed this up. Smart targeting. Does this KO Among Us? Oh, we do survive. Okay. Oh, even if he targeted us, because we have the Citrus Bear, we're good. Because Among Us is not going down to a high jump kick. He should just knock himself out. Either way, he's going to knock himself out. Oh, he knocked off Among Us. Okay, but we lost our item already. Uh, Mian Chow, just knock yourself out. High jump kick into the protect. Supreme Overlord? I really need this uh, Mian Chao to attack yourself in confusion. All right, we got another chance. Let's go. Nice, we finally get it. <laughs> we finally get it. And that's when we really needed it. 
I could have went for Spore here too, because yeah, I think he always targets our shot around here. But we do, we get two guaranteed electro shots off. Oh my Mongus is so bulky. That was so clutch. <laughs> Honestly, I think we were good either way because if Dragon Darts did over 50%, the Citrus Berry would have healed me back. Oh, he went for low kick. Oh, we're definitely good now. And the rain was up, right? Can I still have my herb? Yes, yeah, so we go for another Electro Shot. Just Spore. I can't believe we won this one though. We rep we, we definitely needed that Mia Chao to attack itself, but us getting the confusion was lucky. But him attacking three times through confusion would have been uh extremely lucky on his part too. So I think we were due for it attacking itself at least once. But all he needed was attack itself once. Supreme Overlord King Gambit. Wow. They're bringing out everything for the uh, Global Challenge. High Jump Kick. Knock Off Miancha. Weezing Team. Shutting down abilities, but he has Talent Flame. Interesting. I'm pretty sure that Talent Flame has Will O Wisp. Probably Focus Sash Sneasler. And Choice Scarf, Basket Legion, if I had to guess. I think I want Arch. Among Us. Uh, sleeping his team seems pretty good. I honestly think Dragonite has a really good matchup with Flying Terror. And then King Gambit since Basket is going to be Choice Scarf. I don't think we need Pelipper. We don't need Rain this game. And I don't think Basket is does too well into um, Como O plus uh, Posing Basket Legion and Toad Screw. I mean, we can just one shot Toad Screw, but I don't know if we're going to be in a position to do that. So for the first time, we're not using Friss for the Global Challenge, but let's see how it goes. I wanted to play a more consistent team and see how we did with it. So I wonder if this is just the Wolfie special. I think I just want to go Electro Shot. I think I just want to protect the sport. <sighs> Weez is going for fire terror and like flamethrower. That's going to be tough. I think that's what's coming my way. Oh, he's ghost. Oh, this is not the Weezing team I expected. Does that mean he has taunt? Not choice specs? If you're going for Asset Spray, you gotta do Choice Spray. <sighs> Not ideal, but... Definitely not ideal, but... Should've just attacked turn one. I think it's time to start popping off a Dragonite. I 
Actually, I realize I don't have my sturdy ability right now. That Weezing's definitely choice specs, though. But he just went to Ghost Terror instead of the Fire Terror. Ghost Terror makes sense in Global Challenge, though. So he's locked into. I think I need to respect. Uh... I need to respect Toe Screw uh, going for Acid Spray plus Sludge Bomb into Dragonite. There's no way he's gonna Earth Power into the slide, so he may spore into the Gambit. <laughs> All right, Arch Warco woke up. Nice. Maybe super clutch and get another turn of sleep on the wheezing. Cause he has to switch it now. Otherwise, we can just sucker punch it. Okay. I think I'm going to try to just remove this Toad Scroll with a plus one Draco. Does he have anything that can switch into a Kowtow? He does. But I think I'm going to just go for Sword Stance so King Gam is kind of threatening. Weezing has to switch because it's just it's not doing any damage. Like It's locked into Sludge Bomb, so... Okay, but he stays in with it. I guess he's just gonna try to wake up here. All right, he did wake up. Yeah. I'm kind of leaving it there because I can knock it out at any time. And I think that he wants to, uh, he wants me to knock out the Weezy. Right now, my focus is trying to wake up on uh, our child and I and get rid of Toad School. He should try to sleep Gambit. Yeah, he finally does switch it. Could have went for uh, Kowtow. The reason I could have went for that because if he does spore, it's gonna be moving last. Okay. Yeah, Dragonite is super good here. Our child and I might go down this turn, but I really just want to remove this Toad Scroll. It's kind of an issue, then Dragonite can clean up everything, right? That's a good switch. Ah, he's sacking a Weezy. But if Arch work, wakes up next turn, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, we wake up and get a Draco off. And not Ice Spinner in case he switches back into uh, Toad Squirrel for some reason. <sighs> we didn't do anything with King Gambit, though. It feels bad. Could have just sucker punched something. 
But if we wake up on Archer, that's a nice thing. We're in a good spot. Get him put sleep. Uh, put to sleep twice doesn't feel good, though. That's a good protect. But like I said, Dragonite can win the rest of this game now. Because we can't get put to sleep by Toad Speed. We can get put to sleep, I should say, but it's gonna be since it doesn't have wheezing, it's gonna be moving last for the spores. But it can knock out our child out right here. So I wanna protect here, Terra, Terra Blast, and try to knock out this. Now if we get the KO here and he tries to earth power our child down, we'll be in a good spot. Since Archer speeds, unless he has vacuum wave on it, um, uh, Coma Earth. But I think if you had it, you would have went for it already. Alright, he did go for that. This play was a little bit telegraphed, but I feel like he has to respect it. Because he can just lose Coma Earth immediately. Skills. It's gonna break our multi skill, but it should be fine. Not too much damage. Right. Toe screws down. So we do have to hit a Draco here. I wonder if it's better to go for an E speed plus a flash cannon. This is getting scary. All right, that's good. So he can only target one slot this turn. That's the correct slot to target. The Dragonite beats Como, right? Especially if we get this KO here. Respects KOs among us. I think Last Respects is gonna KO Dragon Knight because I could KO Como, but we're gonna be in range of another one. <sighs> this sucks. I guess we gotta hope that, I mean, E Speed is not gonna KO from there. Kind of E speed crit, right? We're not gonna take another one of those, but even if we do, two E speeds are definitely KO. Oh, it's so close! Yeah, we definitely don't want the crit. Okay, 
Well played. Yeah, that's such a close game. Alright, Porygon Balance. Porygon, Ensign, Among Us, Ursaluna with Arch and Pelipper. King Gambit's good, but it's threatened by a lot here. But this makes it so he doesn't want to leave in center or right. I know I want Dragonite. I think I want Gambit. If he leaves poor, he's definitely gonna tear it. I want Gambit Among Us, Dragonite, and Pelipper. And locking it in. And Dragonite gives me a ground switching. Going for a substitute here. You going for a wall earthquake. This is interesting. Never seen someone play or something like that. It's just earthquake there among this turn one. I could have spoiled into that slot because yeah, him switching was kind of uh, obvious. I wonder if this is Nils Dunlop. Porygon, you're taking a nap too. Um, it's probably gonna terror, try to uh, terror blast if it's still running that. Okay. Back to Amogus. All right, so we're just biding time until one of us wakes up, right? I think whoever wakes up first uh, probably wins. We do wake up, okay? This is Dark Terror plus two. Kowtow. That's a white KO. Nice. Only turn would have made this even better if we just pull up her King Gambit back to full health. But this is really good for us. Because now 
Amoongus can't take a Kowtow Kuni that plus two. Yeah, this, I wonder if this is Nils. It's saying Nils. Or maybe he got it from Nils. There's Spore Porygon and Kowtow Kuni with Amoongus. Can't set up Trick Room because Trick Room uh, in the priority bracket goes after among this wood, it goes last. So we will score it before it sets up trick on. So yeah, this is always safe. Nice. King Gamma picks up two KOs. It's open for a freeze at this point, right? Get a berry. Mongus is so bulky. No, nice. No freeze. Now we just target down the Porygon. And depending on what his last one is, if it's threatening King Gambit, we can just Rage Power. Let's Arch. Okay, put him to sleep too. Uh, body press uh, at neutral is not going to kill King Gambit, so we're safe here. Let's put everything to sleep. Uh, Mungus King Gambit was so potent here. Is this Grass Terror on Artelodon? It is. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Whatever boost he gets, we can just clear smog it. So that keeps the game going, but I think we're in a good spot, like. Because, I mean, Pelipper just beats our child. I really just need to try to remove Porygon so it doesn't get any recovers off. I'm going to sucker punch our child on him and Apollo Puff and Gambit. Uh, stamina's gonna make it so it knocks us out. Right? Yeah. I could have just went for uh, Pollen Puff into that slide. This Porygon wakes up, set up Trick Room. That's not good. But I mean, Mungus is still here, so. Oh, but the Ice Cream. Yeah, I should have Pollen Puff Arch. But I mean, we're good now. Because we just KO, uh... Go ahead and KO Porygon with Weather Ball. Switch out on the Dragonite. Mungus gets some more health back. And Arch always targets Pelipper here. Yeah, the last turn was questionable because if we're going to go for Sucker Punch, then we already know that he's going to have enough uh, power to knock out King Gambit. It's even better because Pelipper outspeeds uh, our child now, so this game is definitely over. Battle was canceled. Let's go. Alright, we're doing pretty well in this grand challenge. Let's keep going. Decided to play with a more standard team that's unconventional. That's built in an unconventional way. Ooh. Infernate. Ah, this makes me excited to feature my Infernate team. We 
We already beat Toad School. He doesn't have reason this time. So what's the Infernape doing? I don't think Infernape feels good here against Basket Legion. Basket Legion just one shots everything except Primarina, right? Oh, I've had a ring here with no Tailwind. I mean, with no uh, Trick Room and DD. Archers for the Corviknight in the end game, right? Is Morgus good here? I don't think so. I'll go with Dragon Knight. I don't like Amongus into Hattering or Amongus into um, Toad School. Fernie looks so cool in Team Kuzu. Oh, it's just following me Tripper. I mean, Rage Powder Tripper. I think my chance to hire of getting a confusion and getting a crit weather ball. I should have brought up Mogus. He's playing towards trick home. Oh, you didn't raise card. For the raw spore, oh, it's Giga. Okay. I mean, trading that for Latin, not letting him get a trick on him, I think it favors us. He did survive. Confusion is clutch there. Yeah, there was no world where Basque Legion was surviving that turn, but we still have our terror, so I think Dragonite is correct here. I can always e speed the Toad Scroll. Weather ball, whatever comes in. Okay, I just hyped with this. I mean, I just hurricane. Terra. Hurricane here. I know it's Corv in the back, so we're saving our child off for that. Alright, no Terra and Toe School. Either he protects, or we just get the kill over here. Probably the hyper voice. Primarina. Primarina specs though. Wide guard kind of just walls it. Another confusion here would be cut. Just add on to it. Nice damage. Well, we do get a confusion. Okay, can we attack yourself? So Pelipper keeps the sash. And I keep my multi scale. Nice. 2020 Poké Vision. Alright, so we keep our multi scale and our sash. And that's why I love this team, because you got uh, Sturdy on Archaladon, Multi-Skill on Dragonite, Focus Sash on Pelipper. Like, it takes multiple hits to KO everything, right? That's very valuable. Alright, I'm going to Terrorblast Primarina. We don't want that to get an attack off. And Hurricane and Frenade. Frenade might have Fake Out, though. Yeah, I think my opponent is just very unprepared with this team. Because Hattering, I think he just raised back. Oh. Well, that's where he targeted the Lane. Fairy Terror. What are we coming for there? I hate to do this to a team that has Infernape because it's my favorite Pokemon, but. Gotta do what we gotta do. Just quit so I don't have to knock out my favorite mod. I'd rather not have to. But we still gotta win at the end of the day. Ah, he doesn't quit and he has Zen head, but can he, get the, can he survive and get the flinch? 
He does survive. Does he get the flinch? No flinch. Uh, feels bad knocking him for an ape out. <laughs> we gotta do what we gotta do, though. Sorry, my good friend, but I will redeem you with the Inferno 18 that I'm gonna be showcasing after this one. Turtonator, all right. Is that pop bomb? Mouse hold. Might be. I like how Bass really threatens a 1k over everything except uh, the are. Go Pelipper Bass, and the Yammy in the back, and the Mocus. I will lead Dragonite, but Pop Bomb Mouse makes me nervous. I can see like a Decidueye plus Mouse Hole lead. Oh, it's just standard in DD Hunter. That's probably going to attack here when I need the trick rooms. If he goes for that specific play, I can wave crash, knock out a DD, and white guard. Ah, is it water to a DD? I wonder if I could have teared and still knocked this thing out. But he's definitely attacking with uh, Hatterang. But I could have just wave crashed Hatterang. Oh, just follow me. Okay. Can't click uh, double targeting moves. He's gonna keep clicking white guard. Okay, that's a good switch. Uh, thank you, Dewey. Probably not gonna follow me. I could have put Hurricane there, but I think I have to respect it. It's probably gonna break my sash now. I need to stall out Trick Room here. Oh, Protect freaking failed because the white guard.
Time seconds are running left. Oh, we didn't switch in DD. So I can I can have a good chance to win if he makes one specific play. Tries to trick him with Ndidi and doesn't follow me. But I feel like following me is so safe that he should hold for it. But yeah. I guess the other good play I could have made was to double protect. Oh, we're faster. Wait, did me hit speed tie? We went first in trick room. Oh no, he went first in trick room. Cause he did triple arrows, we survived and he activated defiant. I'm tripping, we're faster. Wait, that worked out. So I got a play I can go for. Last respects. If he follows me, then Kaltai Cleave knocks out Mousehold. Right? If he follow me, Kaltai Cleave knocks out Mousehold. If he goes for Pop Bomb, knocks out King Gambit, we knock out Hat. Right? And then he, then Basketlesian just beats Mousehold. I didn't account for the tech. Wow, if I would have sucker punched, I would have just won. KO. Oh no, Wave Crash gonna KO me though. Oh, I should just put Glass Respects anyway. If I survive, I win. Alright. <laughs> this is a close one, man. Ah, this one sucks because he, after you? I mean, it didn't even matter. If I just click Glass Respects in a hat, we just win the game. I don't think Mousehole can touch Bass. Wow, 
would you just not go for follow me then? There's so many things I could have done though. That, that's so tricky, but without knowing the mouse hole set, without knowing Hatterene would have protect. Most Hatterenes don't carry protect. They usually have trick room, triple offense. Wow, we punished the one kid that haven't had a ring, but we couldn't punish this one. But let's go. Alright, there's Tyranitar here. Escadrill. Riddleboom, Primarina, Folk, and Quidango. make a strong case for a movie here. Can't spore two. I'm not sure what the terror is on. I mean I think I go fast. Samongus, Pelipper. Oh, I don't know if Dragonite is correct. It has an immunity. Uh, it beats Rilla, it beats Rillaboom. It beats Bulk and it beats uh Escadrill. One of teams is a pain. Oh, we go straight with this lead. Switching and Pelip is so obvious here. I wonder if there's a better play to make. I can wave crash Tyranitar. What does that give me? I think I just take the KO right here. Actually, I don't want to tear it here. Switch. It should be Rilla, right? Yeah. But I can pressure Rilla uh, with Ghost Terror or Pelipper. Yeah. I knew this play was coming, but really wasn't much counterpoint to it. Ooh. His Rillaboom doesn't have terrain. You're overgrow Rillaboom. And I can understand why he would not want terrain because Escadrill is earthquake. He doesn't want to reduce his own damage, but he still wants Rillaboom. Intriguing. So we already know Wave Crash does enough to KO Rillaboom, right? So I'm gonna just spore Escadrill. You switch in T-Tar, he still takes damage from, uh... Oh, he just leaves Rillaboom there. So he's failing. Rillaboom's down. So, that's not threatening anymore. <laughs> you really see everything in, in uh... 
the GC. Good rock slide. Probably reading the Pelipper switch in. This block. X is taking a nap. You bring Tyranitar in here, it cannot take a wave crash. And if I Terra, even if it goes in a flying, it can't take that, right? I don't think he has left that can take it. I mean, even Prim, nothing's taking a wave crash. Yeah, I think I just send it. Yeah, nothing's taking a wave crash. Even Prim is getting destroyed by that. You can swap out your Tyranitar again, it's fine. No, you didn't swap that time. Unless you're focused Sash on Tyranitar and not else can do it. There we go. I didn't have to tear it there, actually. So kind of a waste of a terror, but we get our rain up fully. All right, so Escadrille can wake up our protect next turn. It does have rock slide too. I think I just want to wave crash Prem. Krem's going for a terror. Or is it Escadrill? Right. Oh, you going for big hyper voice? Let's see how much water uh, wave crash in the rain will the terror does to Krem. This is resisted. Oh my god. If we get the sash on X here, we just win because we got uh, Dragon Knight and E-Speed in the back. He would have to wake up and rock slide flinch, but I think he should stay asleep this turn. Nice. Alright, we get the sash. He's not sash even better. He's not sash, let's go. We could have knocked that slide out at any time. And then Prime Marina can do nothing to one shot Among Us. Uh, so we're just gonna protect the score. Yeah, this game should be a wrap. He probably doesn't uh, realize it's a wrap yet because uh, he hasn't seen our last. Mongus eats that. <laughs> That's Water Terror, Hyper Voice in the rain. Still <laughs> did like 20 damage. It's kind of crazy, actually. So we're going to Pollen Puff, get our Sash back, and just Hurricane. That should do it. We we'll win the Battle of the Weather Teams. Beautiful. Yeah, that was a clean game. Escadrille or Tyranitar not being sash kind of hurts my opponent because that's a very valuable item for a team comp like that. Just in my opinion.
All right, we are back, and that was an absolute blast. I really enjoyed playing with this team. It has a lot of different uh, measures that you can take. And to be honest, this team really feels like it functions just as well in like a best of three. Um, like I said, the only real surprise is like Dark Terror and Among Us, but also that can be really good in best of three because you deter your opponent from wanting to be able to click like um, side spam into it because you have the option to go for Dark Terror, right? So you can always use that to your advantage. I think this is a very fun best of one, a very consistent uh, best of one and best of three team. So if you guys want to use this in like a future tournament or a regional, feel free to use that runner code. It's a really good team. And I think if you practice with it and pilot it properly, you can have like really good lines into a lot of different things in the format. But I give this team a 10 out of 10. It's absolutely fun. Like I said, the Dragonite is one of my favorite Dragonite sets. It feels really consistent. The only thing is that you just have to worry about fake out. But you have enough counterplay and enough protects on your team to help you play around certain fake outs. And I usually like to have at least three or four protects on my team. And as you see, we have four, so we're able to kind of play around that. But like I said, there's a rental up at the top right. So there's a poke page down in the description below. Let me know with a comment what you guys think about this team. And did you try the grand challenge? How did you do for your day one? And if you like this team, go ahead and try it out. But that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned. More new videos soon. Deuces.